Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Cancer. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at the energies of how the person who is on your mind is feeling about you right now. What they're thinking about you, what they like best about you and this connection, what they don't like as much, their hopes, fears, what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. For the main cards of the reading, I'll be using the Mystical Manga Tarot by Ram and Barbara Moore, and if clarifiers are needed, the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshitaka Amano. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is the person connected to or coming towards cancer thinking about them right now? What are they thinking about them? What are they feeling? What are they feeling in their heart space? What do they like best? What do they like best about cancer and this connection with them? And what do they not like as much? What are their highest hopes when it comes to this connection? And what are their deepest fears? Now we're gonna get three cards for what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. I'm gonna lay those face down over here and we will look at them together at the end. One more card. Okay. Let's get started. So, the heart of the matter, we have the three of wands. Aries energy could be significant, strong in your chart or your persons, but this is someone who could be feeling like your wish come true. You're something, someone that they've been hoping for. This is someone who's seeing their ships come in. Somebody who, you know, has maybe been waiting and hoping for a long time, maybe for an opportunity, maybe to connect or meet with somebody like you. It is somebody who definitely wants to explore this, see where this can go, see what can happen. I never feel like the three of wands is somebody who's necessarily like rushing into anything. It always feels like kind of a patient card because they do see those those ships coming in but they're waiting there for them to arrive so they could be waiting for some sort of sign or opportunity or something like that but it is somebody who does want to you know see what can happen. They want to explore this. They want to move forward. I think if, you know, there's times or places that you see this person, they look forward to seeing you. They get excited when they think about when they might see you. Let's go ahead and get a clarifier, see if we can find out a little bit more. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card, Major Arcana. Some of you could be dealing with a strong soul connection, but this can be a turning point. It's possible if things have been moving a little bit slow or somebody has been waiting or hoping for a chance or an opportunity, um, you or this person with that kind of um, patient energy there, this is a turning point. This is putting the past in the past once and for all. This is when the universe blows the trumpet and says it is time. This can often be when strong soul connections, you know, come together or when two people that maybe have had their differences decide it's time to talk and open up and no matter what kind of reading it shows up and it is like the challenging times being in the past this could be somebody wanting to see you talk to you make up if there's been a challenge or even somebody interested in resurrecting something if for some reason you've gone in different directions obviously we are looking specifically at someone you're interested in somebody you're excited about somebody you want to hear from and this is a positive energy Energy. So it is definitely like very powerful with that judgment card. Somebody could even be getting like a nudge from the universe to to do something, to say something, and to take a step. And we have the three of wands clarified by the knight of wands. Leo energy could be significant, but if this person has been taking their time it could shift very quickly because the Knight of Wands doesn't waste any time. This can be somebody who's very drawn to you, very attracted to you. There could be a lot of chemistry. This could be somebody, you know, just out of nowhere, just telling you how they feel, taking initiative, stepping forward. Now, our Knight of Wands doesn't necessarily think everything through. Sometimes it is somebody that can come in with a lot of, you know, a lot of heat, a lot of excitement, a lot of passion, but doesn't necessarily know, you know, where is it going to go? or what's going to happen, but I feel like this person only wants to stand and wish and wait and hope for so long. They're getting to the point where they do want to do something. They do want to say something, and I have to say, there's somebody who could be very, very attracted to you. If you don't have anybody like that in your life with the Knight of Wands coming forward, there could
could definitely be somebody um, showing up, taking you by surprise and very interested in you. What they're feeling is the high priestess. This is a quiet energy. Um, Pisces, Virgo, and Cancer energy specifically for me as a reader because the moon rules Cancer and this card has a lot to do with the moon energy. It is about intuition. It is about somebody who is um, could be feeling a strong psychic connection to you. It can also be somebody who is being very quiet but maybe is keeping secrets, maybe thinking very deeply about you, about how they feel, but maybe they haven't said a word. Like I said, that could kind of change there with that knight of wands and it could be somebody who has maybe held back some feelings or maybe been quiet or got quiet um, maybe even in some cases for quite some time that is definitely wanting to make some changes here spirit why do we have the high priestess and what they're feeling ace of pentacles Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy could be significant, but this is somebody who wants to move forward. This can be somebody making an offer, taking a step forward, telling you how they feel. It could just be wanting to be around you more, meet up with you, um, talk, you know, be face to face, something like that. Sometimes this is engagements or somebody asking to take something to the next level, but it is the cornerstone of a Ten of Pentacles. It is a beginning that could lead to something lasting and stable. This could even be somebody think secretly thinking, about like proposing or asking you out or doing something or saying something to get a little bit more serious but it, once again it could take you by surprise because we have this quiet energy and then this energy of somebody you know wanting to make an offer wanting to say something and here we have this kind of patient almost waiting kind of energy with this knight of wands which is like let's go let's do this so definitely could be something that has really taken its time suddenly kicks into high gear especially with that judgment card because that is a turning point and it is powerful it's major arcana what they like best about you is the knight of cups they like falling for you they like thinking about you they like thinking about maybe you know um telling you how they feel maybe asking you to go out or get more serious i mean the knight of cups for me is often that that process of falling in love it's like you start with the with the page of cups which is that kind of tentative you know flirtatious energy but then you move towards the knight of cups which is once again like this three of wands somebody wanting to explore this you know let's go out let's talk let's have a drink let's you know or or something like that or somebody who maybe has been a friend or maybe hasn't just hasn't been really open about their feelings you know saying hey this is what I feel for you and then of course there's the the king of cups the queen of cups which is getting more serious but this is somebody that could definitely once again be wanting to take something to the next level scorpio energy could be significant they also could like if you are interested in them or if you have let them know um, that can be also somebody who is you know liking the fact that maybe you're interested in them maybe you're noticing them maybe they think that you you know that you have feelings for them and they like that that with the Knight of Cups being what they like best. Clarifying that is the Six of Swords. Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Somebody could have their eye on you. Once again, there's a little bit of this secrecy here with that High Priestess and the Page of Swords. Somebody could be thinking about you quite a lot, maybe making some plans, maybe doing their homework. Sometimes this Page of Swords is somebody who could be looking at your pictures, your social media, asking about you if you have, you know, acquaintances or somebody, if for some reason, you know, somebody got quiet in this connection or or something like that, or there's been a miscommunication, this person is very curious. They're wanting to know, are you interested? Are you free? Are you available? Something like that with a page of swords. But once again, they're keeping things a little secret till they're more sure. And we have the Knight of Cups clarified by the Six of Swords. Aquarius energy with the Six of Swords, but that is somebody who has maybe pulled away from a dramatic or stressful situation is wanting to move on to peaceful waters things being more smooth things being more positive if there's been a disagreement or a conflict or something between you it hasn't changed their feelings at all but it's like they want to make peace they want to make it right in some situations they could even be releasing something from the past that was very dramatic and stressful and moving towards you and falling for you more and more but with the six of swords it's like they definitely don't want 
seems like they don't want to cause any chaos, any stress. They don't want to necessarily shake up the current situation that the two of you have. They want things to be easy, smooth, peaceful, but they're also falling for you. And you know, love, falling in love isn't always, isn't always smooth sailing. Sometimes you have to be spontaneous. You have to express yourself. You have to open up. You have to take a chance. And there's some ups and downs with that. What they don't like as much is the five of wands. Leo energy could be significant. This can be competition. They could be worried that you have some competition or, you know, or they have some competition, especially with that page of swords, like trying to find out, are you interested in someone else? Something like that. Um, this can also be disputes, disagreements. Once again, stress, drama. Um, if the two of you have, you know, had words or have, you know, have had some kind of challenge between you or something like that, they definitely don't. Don't want it's like they don't want the drama they don't want the stress they don't want the conflict um it and it seems like they don't want to be like competitive you know something like that but the attraction to you the interest in you the feelings for you are undeniable spirit why do we have the five of wands here for what they don't like as much about the connection we have the four of cups on the bottom of the deck king of cups and i just mentioned the king of cups the king of cups it's like a little further along than this knight of cups which is falling for someone maybe wanting to start something offer something or open up the king of cups can be all the way in i mean the king of cups can be somebody who is very consciously aware of what they're feeling for you what you mean to them and it is somebody that when they make an offer you know they really do have something to back it up we've got this knight energy like the knight of wands the knight of cups which can come in can you know there can be a lot of heat there can be a lot of words but maybe they don't know you know what's going to happen and where it's going to go but the king of cups has the maturity to stay to see it through to see what can happen now this is here on the bottom of the deck so they could be having all of these feelings, but maybe not fully acted on them yet. But it's the underlying energies that they're aware of that have to do with everything here. Clarifying the five of wands, we have the four of cups. The four of cups is someone who might be kind of struggling to believe that this is possible. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the traditional card because I feel like it's really helpful for those that don't know um, the imagery. But with the Four of Cups, it's somebody who is like kind of okay with things as they are. It's not like these cups are spilled. It's not like they're super, you know, discouraged or sad. But they're okay with things as they are, That which it could be friendship, could be, you know, maybe somebody at work or somebody at the gym or somebody in a class or somebody that you know through other people. You know, obviously it's not always the case, but with that three cups there, you know, where you're currently at, it seems like they want more. They want the ace of cups. They want the two of cups. They want more intimacy. They want to get closer. Um, and they're okay with things as they are, but they're wanting more. But here they are a little guarded with that, um, with the arms folded here. This is somebody who's hoping for love, hoping to move forward, hoping maybe to make an offer, maybe even has, you know, you interest in them or the universe wanting to show them something, but they're struggling to believe that it's possible. And so they're a little closed. They're a little guarded, even though it's all here, all the potential. But this is somebody who might be struggling a little bit to believe that, you know, this is going to happen, that this could work. So could be somebody having their doubts. But their highest hopes are the Six of Pentacles, which is incredibly positive. Oh, on Four of Cups, Cancer Energy there. So that's your energy. Um, Taurus for the Six of Pentacles. This is someone, it seems very clear to me, that is hoping that if they step forward or if they say something, if they tell you how they feel or if they ask to get more serious, that you're going to feel the same way. With the Six of Pentacles, it's equal feelings. It's equal give and take. It's two people, you know, going all in and making the most of it. I think there could be like, you know, this kind of nerves with the Five of Wands or the Four of Cups that maybe, you know, if they do take a step, there could be, you know, maybe some competition or maybe it could stir up some kind of challenge in the situation you're in. And with the Four of Cups, they might even be struggling to believe that it's possible or that you're interested. But with the Six of Pentacles, it's very clear they are, you know, realizing if this is going to work, what it means, what they're going to have to, you know, um, be ready to do. And this is, this is something that's more balanced. This is somebody who shows up and, um, and really does put in like that energy. So, and they're also, I think, hoping for, you know, for that 
from you as well. Like if they're going to say something or do something. But the thing is, it's like you can't always know. There's something about them kind of wanting to take a chance, wanting to go for this, but also maybe being a little afraid of rejection or maybe not sure if you feel the same. They're definitely curious. Spirit, why do we have the Six of Pentacles? So the Two of Pentacles, they're trying to decide, honestly. Um, Capricorn energy could be significant with the Two of Pentacles. But honestly, sometimes this card comes up when somebody just has a lot going on, a lot on their plate, the Two of Pentacles. It is somebody who is managing it better than, you know, than they realize that they have a lot going on. But they could even be wondering, like, you know, if I'm, you know, if I'm to make this offer, if I'm to speak up, or if this person is to come towards me, you know, are they going to have space? Are they going to have room in their life for me, for this to work, for this to come together, for both of us to do what it takes to really explore this and make it happen? Their deepest fears are the king of coins. Virgo energy here could be significant, but this could be a little bit of nerves around not being quite in that place. Maybe not being like fully, you know, ready to commit because the, you know, the king of pentacles is somebody who is, is ready to commit, somebody who understands, you know, what it takes to be in a connection to fully move forward. This is somebody who's caring and somebody who's generous. And this is somebody who has a lot to offer and knows that they do. So it could be that they don't, aren't quite sure, you know, it's clear, but the knight of wands and the knight of cups, you know, they've got the passion, they've got the heart, but they could be a little bit worried here if they've got you know, the pentacles, what it takes right, really as far as, you know, having enough to offer. This can be somebody who's, you know, can be, if this is coming up in their fear place, could be worried about like their finances or something like that. Like if I'm going to take you out, am I going to be able to really show you the good time that I want to? That sort of thing could be um, just one of the things that could be, um, could also be worried that you have somebody else in your life that is this person and, you know, do they have a chance with you? Because there is a little bit of worry about competition there. Spirit, why do we have the King of Coins and what this person is fearing? Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, and look at what is peeking out again, this Page of Swords. It is very clear. For one, this person can't get you off their mind with the Ace of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be significant. They think about you. They're thinking about you a lot. They could be trying to be smart, trying to be logical, maybe trying to plan, wanting to be sure that if they take a step that they really do, you know, have what it takes and um, to really follow through and, and make this happen. And I don't even feel like you're expecting things like that from them, you know, with that energy. Uh, but sometimes people expect a lot from themselves and, um, and can get discouraged if they don't feel like they're in the place that they want to be to be really ready to fully you know share share their share their life or you know get really serious like that kind of energy with the king of pentacles but with the ace of swords i feel like you're the first thing they think about when they wake up in the morning and they do want to they do want to be very clear about their feelings and with the ace of wands on the bottom of the deck aries leo sagittarius can be sig significant they want to talk to you they want to take initiative they want to take action even if they aren't really sure where it's going to go or what's going to happen they do want to take initiative they're extremely attracted to you that's for sure so now we're going to look at what's likely to happen what they're likely to do next and any advice spirit has for you what is likely to happen? Hierophant. Okay, this makes a little more sense with how seriously this person is thinking about, oh, I've got to have it together. I've got to have plenty. This is someone, whether or not you know it or realize it, is thinking in the realms of commitment. Taurus energy could be significant here, but this is somebody who could want to take a step and maybe a big step forward. This is somebody who wants to, you know, stand up in front of friends and family. I'm not saying marriage. That can be very symbolic, but say, this is who I'm with. You know, you're the, this is the person I'm with. This is who I'm committed to. I think this is somebody who will be very like proud to call, you know, call you their, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, something like that, you know, but, um, but it is the energy of somebody who is, could be thinking a little further down the road, maybe than you even realize. They feel this connection to you. They feel it very significantly, maybe more than you, you know, 
Once again, more than you even know. So you're, why do we have the Hierophant here and what's likely to happen? I mean, with the Hierophant, the two of you could definitely, you know, have um, a much more serious, stable future here. We have the Page of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Chariot. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, and Cancer could be significant, but your energy showing up here with the Chariot, with the, the Page of Wands, this is somebody who wants to to take some initiative. Maybe test the waters with the Page of Wands, maybe feel it out, maybe see, you know, make an excuse to talk to you or have more time, you know, to be around you one-on-one -on -one or to ask you out, something like that. They definitely want to talk, definitely want to do something very attractive to you. For some reason, feeling kind of stuck. And now that Eight of Swords, we're never stuck. It's swords. Swords are thoughts. The only place we're stuck is in our mind. But when you're going around in circles, overthinking, second guessing, you can get kind of stuck. But ultimately, with the chariot, they want to move forward. It's like they want to get out of their head. They want to stop overthinking it. They do want to just go for it and see what can happen. So what are they likely to do? Four of Swords. Okay, and this this is interesting because I did see when I got those cards on the bottom of the deck, we have a tower. Um, Aries and Scorpio could be significant, but it doesn't surprise me that this some this person's got a little healing going on here. And we'll pull clarifier to see what that's all about. But with the tower on the bottom of the deck, there's definitely been something that has shaken them up. Maybe it is something that happened between the two of you, or maybe it's something that happened in their life that shook up their, you know, their foundation, their stability that made them feel like they didn't have this, you know, this king of pentacles energy that they really want to have something, maybe a big change, a move, a work change, maybe something in their life and their family, maybe a breakup from the past, or maybe something that happened between the two of you. Something has shaken this person up and they haven't fully recovered or from it yet with the tower here on the bottom of the deck and the four of swords being what they're likely to do this is somebody that definitely needs to um, take a little time and process and release some of that past energy that four of swords comes right after the three of swords this person has been through something and I we all have we've all been through our share of things and it's really kind of where you go with it and what you do with it, you know, that decides what happens next. But we've all been through our share of painful things. With this Four of Swords, somebody's been through a Three of Swords experience, something really painful. But they know that they've got to shift gears. They know that they've got to move forward. They've taken that Three of Swords. They hang it up. They take a little time to heal, process, maybe find their balance again because Fours are all about stability. And then with the Ace of Swords, which is this Ace of Swords right here, which is, you know, clarity, new beginning, stepping forward. They do communicate when the time is right, but this is a quiet energy. This person could be quiet for a little bit longer before they speak up about the fact, that was a lot of cards that came out, um, about the fact that they want to get more serious. Spirit, why do we have the four of swords? Why do we have the four of swords in what this person is likely to do? Wow. Okay. Sorry. A bunch of cards just wanted to fall out there. We have the Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups. Gemini could be significant. And then, of course, Cancer with the Two of Cups. This is somebody who knows it's time to put the past in the past. To This is coming to the end of a burdensome, stressful, painful cycle. This is when you get to the point where it's like, you know what, I can't focus on my doubts, my fears, and my hurts any longer. I need to just, you know, release that and start fresh. Once again, with the Ace of Swords. But there's something that this person is wrapping up, putting in the past, releasing once and for all. Maybe it's just their own, you know, doubts or fears or insecurities and things like that. But it's because they want a fresh start. Clearly with you, we've got the two of cups. This is an end of a cycle, maybe an end to silence and quiet and waiting, all of this waiting energy to actually stepping forward and saying, how they feel. It's clear this person is interested in you. They definitely want to take it to the next level. There's a part of them that could be feeling kind of defeated. The Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords, Four of Swords doesn't come out if somebody isn't second guessing themselves or feeling like they don't have a chance. They might even think they don't have a chance, but it hasn't changed the fact that they're hoping for 
this to come together. They feel like you could be their person. They feel like the two of you could be a match and make this happen. And they definitely have feelings for you. So what is your advice? Nine of Wands. Wow, interesting. Sagittarius energy could be significant, but the Nine of Wands is also somebody who's been through a lot. And I feel like very often our relationships, you know, they can reflect things that are going on within us. Um, a lot of times we could be attracted to someone who's kind of in a place where maybe they're, you know, they're still recovering from things because you're still, you know, you still have things you're working through. You're still having, you have things you're still sorting out. And, um, and yet with the nine of wands, this is somebody who's rising above their past. They're rising above the challenging energy, their fears, their doubts, all of that. And they are finding the strength to passionately move forward towards what is meaningful to them, towards what matters to them. And you're, it's a very independent kind of energy. So I feel like your guides are saying, you know, um, passionately moving towards what feels right to you, listening to your heart, taking initiative. If you have guided to say something, do something, you know, obviously listen to your intuition on that. But moving forward and putting your past in the past could be key to, you know, attracting in that higher vibrational energy of someone who's also ready, you know, to release the past and take some steps forward and see this through and see what can happen and see where it can go. Let's get one last clarifier. Spirit, why do we have the nine of wands here for the advice? Why do we have the nine of wands here? Wow. We have the queen of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and the page of swords. Very interesting. Okay. With the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles showing up here, Capricorn energy could be significant, but this is two people coming together. This is two people who are ready to get more serious, are ready to go take this to the next level. Um, doesn't necessarily, you know, have anything to do with signs. I always say the signs, but it's really about the energies when it comes to a reading. And these are two people that um, feel like this could really happen. And with the Hierophant, definitely, definitely could be, you know, something unfolding in the near future. Um, but your guides are saying with that Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, recognizing, you know, your worth, your value, the fact that you do, you know, deserve somebody who is ready to go all in, who is ready to show up, who does recognize your value is key to attracting somebody in who is in that place. We have the Nine of Wands clarified with a page of swords. So your guides are saying, listen to your intuition, you know, take a step if you feel God to take a step, but you pay attention to too. do your homework make sure this is somebody you know who really recognizes everything that you are um and is you know willing to really show up in the way that you need and desire somebody to show up if you are going to take that step and move forward so that is a message I have for you. I do hope that there was something in here for each person who was guided to this reading. If you like the reading, please put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you would. If something spoke to you and you'd like a personal reading, my website is charitygenice.com. And if you're interested in bonus content, collective messages for the new moon, full moon, and other messages throughout the month as I am guided, my Patreon is open and I am putting regular messages up on my Patreon. So I do did put up one for the full moon and Leo, which we're actually experiencing today. I put that up yesterday. And I also put one up for the big shift, um, Pluto shifting this year out of Capricorn for the officially um, this year for the first time in many years, Pluto has been in Capricorn shifting into Aquarius. So it's kind of shaking up different dynamics as opposed to, you know, Pluto has been shaking up our work and our life and things like, you know, um, our stability, things like that. It's moving out of that and changing up our, you know, the way that we communicate. Our social circles are, you know, helping us really connect in with people that um, have the kind of vision we have. So I did ha I do a video on Patreon all about that because that is a very huge planetary aspect that is happening this year. So if you're interested, definitely check out my Patreon. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of January and I will bring you your February. You and them love reading very soon. Thank you so much.